With all the hype surrounding Budokai Tenkaichi 4, I'd like to talk about another Dragon Ball Z game that may become a reality in the near future. That is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3. It's been a while since Xenoverse 2 was released and even longer for the original Xenoverse. And even though Xenoverse 2 is continuously getting DLC, I feel like it's time to bring out a brand new installment. But in this particular instance, Xenoverse 3 must fix the mistakes that were made in the original Xenoverse and its sequel. Even with the new DLC, there are still a lot of issues that have been left unresolved. For example, look at the main story. When you look at the original Xenoverse main story, there were some notable but understandable changes. But looking at Xenoverse 2, the changes were not so creative and kind of repetitive. This comment on Reddit puts it together quite nicely. For example, look at the Saiyan Saga. The only difference here is that Turles shows up for 5 seconds, Nappa becomes a great ape and goes down in about 5 seconds, which is pretty accurate. I strongly believe that Xenoverse 3 should take a different approach. Something more creative and unique, akin to Dragon Ball Heroes. Even with the Saiyan Saga alone, or even before that, let's go back to the original Dragon Ball Sagas with King Piccolo. Have Kid Goku go Super Saiyan after Krillin's death. There are tons of potential what-if ideas and unexplored situations that could be used in Xenoverse 3. And this of course means that the developers can make some serious money. Furthermore, there's a little bit of an issue with Saiyans getting favoritism. Now obviously they would be the most popular playable race. But adding some more customization for other races would be pretty nice. For example, look at Namekians. Orange form, giant form, something like that. Different fighting styles would be very nice, for example using a sword or a key sword, something like that. The thing with all of these is that there has to be enough notable changes for Xenoverse 3 to feel fresh and unique while still being linked to the original two Xenoverse games. It is also another great opportunity once again to bring some kind of localization of Dragon Ball heroes into the more western audience. Now obviously they have been doing this with the trading card game and I know of course there is supposed to be a digital version releasing soon but this is another prime opportunity. Just imagine going Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 as your own custom character. Furthermore you should keep in mind that modders have been doing this sort of thing for quite a number of years. So of course there will be some people that compare the official releases to these modded versions. And rightly so because these mods have been getting insanely good. You look at the Xenoverse 2 revamp team and they're doing quite an amazing job. Those are just some changes I feel like would be beneficial for a potential upcoming Xenoverse 3 game. Really it's just common sense and a little bit of fan service. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and have a good one.